welcome welcome this we're going to call the three-step wrap sleeve and the reason because there's only three steps to do it and because it's a wrap sleeve and i just love it we're going to show a little photo here and the reason i'm showing you this photo is so that you can see where the inspiration came from also i want you to notice in the photo this is actually a woven fabric i did it on a knit it doesn't make a difference but there is a few considerations we're going to make to make sure that it transfers properly from the the look of this woven which is so beautiful to the knit which is what I have on and then a couple considerations I want you to take is that number one look at your fabric if you notice on the inside of my sleeve the back side of this fabric will show so mine's not mine is definitely lighter but you can see it's not that big a deal and then also stitching when you're dealing with blacks and whites I used a white lace you're gonna be have to have some thread changes so do that it only takes a few minutes of time and it really looks so much better there's white thread that's sewing it on here i used a black serger thread and if you notice on the inside you can see where it, because it shows i seamed the lace just with a stitching machine i'm sorry with a sewing machine and so the serger stops the serger if it came through on the black lace it would really show well it really actually doesn't show now and that's why it's not offensive but if it if it showed i think it would it would be so. I want you to notice that the front is lapped to the back. You could do it either way because it's the same sleeve done twice. I'll show you when I do the pattern work. So you could lap it to the front. I did it in the photo, like the photo, because I like the photo. That's the only reason. Um, and then the other thing I wanted you to notice is I did a V-neck. And again, I only did it because I felt like it angled the V of the sleeve, but it's your choice. And clearly I've shown how to do that. Obviously do it in a contrasting so that it, it is somewhat of a focal point. I love the sleeves. I love the sleeves because I think they're my thing. They're like a three-quarter sleeve but being full length. So we're going to do some close-ups at the table. I want you to see exactly how to do the pattern work. It's so easy. You'll have it done in no time. The sewing again is very easy. You're going to take two yards of fabric. I started with pattern 113 which is Sunny's top because it's a sweater set it's just long and the sleeve there's only three pieces front back and sleeve that's what i wanted we're changing the sleeve we're not changing the body it's already lengthened in one um, in 113 sunny's top except for the v-neck that's the only thing i changed um the two yards of fabric you're going to need two yards of the lace whatever you're using and you are good to go both the lace is on our site and the fabric is on our site so let's learn how to do the pattern work and you can get your own wrap sleeve and it is fun all right let's go to the table all right so the very first thing i did was took the sleeve and just traced it all right so that's it just trace the sleeve i traced it full amount full length then what you're going to do is you're going to decide on a design line and really there's no I, there's not even a way to help you just know that it goes you know you want to come down a little bit and just go from one side to another and keep in mind that you higher you go or the more dramatic it is here the more the more forearm is going to show and just play with it remember that this is wrapping to the back so this is actually going to go to the back and the under portion and all this will lay open so just take a line from one side of the sleeve to another side of the sleeve use your French curve I can't even tell you how I did I just you know let me let me lay a French curve down on it so you can at least see I went this way this is going from 20 to 11 and then I flipped it into the seam and then just curved it just to sew the lace and this is going 18 to 11 so those are my two segments if you just feel insecure about that and want to duplicate all right, then what you're going to do, because it's a knit sleeve, you're going to spread. And I opened it up uh, four inches total, an uh, inch and a quarter here, an inch and a third, roughly, inch and a third, inch and a third. I just wanted a little more fullness at the bottom. Keep in mind that if you don't open it up, you're not going to get any kind of swing. So if you're using a woven, you don't necessarily need to do this. But with a knit, you're going to have to open up that bottom because you don't want it tight at the, at the wrist line. You want to get that fun fullness in at the bottom all right and then what i did is i found that when i and i didn't actually do that sleeve 
but once I did that, I cut it up a little bit because I wanted a little more to show through here. So I shaved a little more of this off. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut four of these. So you have two for each sleeve. So basically that wraps to the, to the back. You turn it this way. This one wraps to the front and you're going to set it in just like any other sleeve. But when you're setting it in here along the seam line, you're setting in two layers and then you can still do the underarm seam. This comes around like this. So, and you know, add your lace on first. And then when you sew the seam, you're doing it just like a normal set in sleeve. So your order of sewing would be sew the lace on, um, set the sleeve in just like normal, but just make sure you've got the two layers, but you need four sleeves. So that's why I said you'll need two yards. You need one yard just for the sleeves and then one yard for the body. So set the sleeve in and then start at the bottom where the lace is. So this way upward in the side seam, exactly like always, just exactly how the directions say. All right. Perfect, set in sleeves, and then I have one thought in closing. So here's what I was thinking when I was doing this project. Wouldn't this be cute in a pair of pants? I know you all have seen them. I know I've seen them. I've tried them on. But a lot of times with pants, they're split so far up, like you can't really wear them. But if you did the same thing, and pretend this is your knee, or below, if you want to cover your knee, wouldn't that be cute? So... <laughs> So I have a summer little thing I've got to go to, and I, guess what I'm going to make? I'm, I am absolutely going to make a little pair of these little wrap pants. So as long as you understand how to do it, it's so cute. I just love it. I love how it feels on. Like after I made it, I put it on. I thought this is so cute, and it feels really good. All right, so happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.